CBT Nuggets Micro Nuggets, creating custom IPS signatures. You know, if I was hiring an IPS security specialist right now, one of the first things I would ask is, do they have any experience creating custom signatures? So in this Micro Nugget, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Let's take a look. Okay, let's first use the CLI to create a custom signature looking for bad telnet login attempts uh, over an inline VLAN pair, so between a client and a server, for example. So we want to get into global configuration mode, first of all. We want to go into the services, and we know we have a bunch of services, right? The one we want to use, of course, is signature definition. So in there, we're going to do SIG0. It's the only one we have, the default. We're going to use the string TCP engine. Oops, got to name our signature first. So we want to name this thing. Signature, we'll do it. We'll make it 60, we'll make it 60,000. Okay, that's the first available one. It's the first one. And this is the first signature, not sub signature. So 60,000 and then zero. Okay, what engine are we going to uh, make this from? The string TCP engine. And what are the service ports? Well, this is, we're looking for bad telnet, right? So the service port's going to be 23. That's telnet. The directionality is important because usually it's to the service, but we're looking for error messages coming back from the service. So we're going to say, you know what, we want to do from the service. Then we want our regex string. What are we looking for in that particular, what is our characteristic? Well, the bottom line is this. We're looking for a word that's going to be in that error message. So the word bad will be in that error message from the telnet server. So we'll just do regex string bad. I'm going to exit out of here and go back one level. Then we want to do some event counter stuff. And to do event count, you have to get into the event counter mode, config sig sig eve. Okay, so we're going to say the event count is going to be three. So it takes three of these to trigger them by default within a 60 second period. Okay, then we'll exit and do alert frequency. Okay, frequency, not severity. In that mode, we're going to do the summary mode is to fire all. Let's just get all of them. We can do fire once, fire all, summary. Okay, that's pretty much all we need. So we just exit, exit. There is no end, okay? There's no end statement here like we have in the, this is not the, see, this is not the iOS, right? So we exit all the way back. It allows us to apply the changes, okay? Yes, we do. And again, it's going to modify our configuration file. Let's go verify over on the 4240. Okay, in IME 7, you may have to go over here and refresh before you're going to see it in the graphical interface. Let's go and filter by type, and we'll do custom, and it should show up as our first custom signature. There it is. Okay, and so that's the one we just created. It's just called my sig because I didn't give it a name, but we could modify that right now. Edit, and let's call this bad telnet. And we can obviously modify some other things as well. Now, this is one way to create a custom signature. A second way to create a custom signature is to go into an existing signature like this one and clone it. Okay. And when you clone it, it'll now become a custom signature. So let's go look at custom. So we've now got 6001. So we've got two custom signatures. One we created in the CLI, and here's one we cloned. That's two ways to do it. Let's test bad telnet real quick. Let's bring over Potter Rosa and we'll create a new Telnet connection to 2.20. That's where we want to go. Click on OK. Login. Administrator. Let's put in some bad passwords. Uh, how about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? That's not good. Do it again. That's not good. Administrator. That's not good. Okay, we need three of them because the event count was three, right? Let's take this out of here. Let's do a refresh. Go to sensor monitoring. Let's see the last three minutes. And view. Refresh. And there it is. There's 60,000 details. Obviously, you can see the verbose alert action was turned on. You can even see the clear text passwords I tried, right? Look at the clear text. This is a Telnet, right? So there's the passwords I tried that were bad. And we can see it's, it's from the 4240, the sensor app. Notice that the attacker is actually the server. Because remember, we said from the service. So that's, that's the key thing there, the from service thing. But it's 60,000. It's custom. 
I didn't save the my. I, I, I changed it to bad telnet, but I didn't change the description. I didn't apply that before, so it shows up as the old name my sig. All right, there you go. Now going back over here to policies, other ways to create signatures would be just to use the signature wizard. Bring that up, and you can either base it on an existing engine, you can base it on these engines, and walk through the panels and go through the wizard, or you can say, I want to do it and not base it on an engine, click on next, and choose your protocol type. You can do it that way, yes, I want to cancel, or just go up here to add, and you can say, I want to add a new one right here. Notice it's going to be 6002, the next available number, and just come in and change your parameters and create your custom signature that way. Awesome. I'm Michael James Shannon. CBT Nuggets Instructor. I hope this micro nugget was informative for you. I want to thank you for viewing.